Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Kayla B. You know me, I'm coming at you with another video. Yes, another video. Whew, let's do this empties. It is empties of May 2023. So let's get it on and pop in. First, we have candles. We have this Volupsa Tahine Coconut Vanilla. This was horrible. This this candle you only smelled it a little bit and that's it and it's just it wasn't up to par of what i thought this was gonna smell like it was just a no so i just stuck with the rest of rain remember the the remainder of the month with a bath and body works candle this is sweater weather it it just gives me like pine trees like that folly scent and i know it is summer months you know and we're getting into summer it is hot and stuff but i just wanted to take a trip down memory lane the next thing we have is spray for spray we have the midnight amber glow this is fragrance notes a smooth amber caramel latte vanilla bourbon this is one of my favorite scents this and dream bright i think it's called and forever red those are my favorite scents to spray from bath and body works especially for overall room spray uh the next thing is boom, boom, boom this i love their i love 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 their hand soaps this is the hand soap that i used this month and that is totally done this is berry blackberry and bergamot um this is a foaming hand soap the fragrance notes is dark berries snow cedar cedar wood and creamy vitir it's formulated with seft sulfates dyes and parabens and i love that and I love Bath and Body Works. If you don't know that by now, Bath and Body Works is my jam. Before it was like between Bath and Body Works and um, Victoria's Secrets, but we all know who won Bath and Body Works. All right. I'm just gonna cut all this stuff out. All right, another thing. From Bath and Body Works is this Pure Wonder. I really hate that they don't have this anymore in the hand cream or in the hand sanitizer. This was my favorite, favorite scent in the hand cream. My hand sanitizer. Everybody be like, ooh, what? I have the hand sanitizer right here. What's that scent? This time third. Everybody wanted it. And I'm really mad that I cannot. It's, it's no more. It's no more. Maybe a little bit in the hand sanitizer. that scent just give me the last of it there we go oh. it's good just to like put on your clothes and you smell it oh i love that scent oh i can't the scent it doesn't say on the back of this or on the back of this but in one of my videos i might have just said the scent Anyways, speaking of scents, let's get into two, three sprays. This is Coffee Break by Replica. This spray right here was a good, like, mixture spray. I like to mix it. It was not my favorite. Thing from replica is not my favorite mason margilla scent is not my favorite one but it is a good one it's like top 10 not top 5 you feel me um this is the new girl on paris aqua alluric alluria whatever that is that and this scent is just Oh, so beautiful. Mm, it's like grapefruit a little bit. Mm. And then we have My Way by Jojo Armani, which is a staple 
so much that I can't even get it out. Um, this is a good perfume. I'm kind of be like, it's a good mixture. I used to mix this with the coffee. And it would be like a nice earthy floral sweet scent. And I love that mixture. That was my mixture. And those two were like in my purse all the time. Then for lip gloss we have Boom Fenty. I have finally did the last of my Fenty lip gloss. The Diamond Milk. It is finally gone from my collection. And all I can say is that this stuff lasts. This faff lasts for a very long time. It is good. It lasts on your lips for a very long time. It's moisturizing. I love it. And yeah. Next we have the Bad Girl Bang Mascara for Benefit. This just got really, really dry. And it's a good mascara. Overall, it's good for like natural lashes. Um, it's good to like mend lashes with fake lashes. It's an okay mascara. I mean, Benefit always comes with the mascara and the brow products, so I'm not mad at it. Then we have Kate Somerville Total Repair Cream. I got this in Ipsy, I think, last month or the month before. It's okay it does the job you had to put a lot on to get it fully working to get it fully activated you have to put a lot on and I don't like that I don't like having to put a lot of stuff on yeah it works and it feels good and it makes your skin feel so soft but with Kate Somerville stuff and with my skin during like the hot months and stuff like that I have dry skin um, and I just don't like stuff that says that it's a cream to be like oh you have to put a lot on not just like one dollar you gotta put it and slap it on your face the same thing with the Kate Somerville goat milk I like the stuff but I had to put a lot on not like Tatcha water cream where I just put a little bit on or Tatcha dewy one where I just put a little bit on with the spoon and it just melts into my skin and makes it moisturizing I love that aspect and it's about the same price so would you want to pay in my mind would you want to pay tatcha and get only use a little bit and save a lot or you want to have this which will go in like two months which tatcha goes in like four months for me so it's like come on now yeah that's what's in my head that's just what's in my head i don't know about other people i don't know how it works for you for my skin it just like absorbs it right up like absorbs it up the next thing is for a room spray this is coco paradise i love this room spray it's nothing left oh but that coconut scent you guys know i love myself the coconut scent coconut and fruity is my jam and that's the plan <laughs> then going into skincare we have this this is the tatcha pure one stick camilla cleansing oil this right here is amazing i love me some tatcha camilla cleansing oil but i saw the packaging for the big size the only size they don't have this size anymore but um, I saw the packaging for it and it's not like this with the pump it's not like that um, so I will not be getting it because I hate that packaging with the squeezing it out and all that extra stuff because you can't get to the bottom of it I love me a pump or a jar when it comes to cleansing oils so I'm really, really sad about that. But this is a good product. It goes on very, very smoothly. And your skin is just like no makeup. Just a couple pops. Put it on your skin. Wash it off. No makeup. And I really do love that. I really love Tatcha products. Tatcha, I can recommend that. That's not... It's worth the hype. It's not just hype. It actually has merit behind it. And I love that. 
especially Clinique. We all know Clinique is good for every skin type, even sensitive skin, and they pride their stuff on it. And this is the Clinique All About Liquid Facial Soap. Stuff like a little bit left. Boy, I'm about to use that later on today. But yes, yeah, so so basically it's empty. So that's a good just morning take it off take off your makeup take off the dirt from your result if you if you did it like clean your face for like a like that night really really good take off the res residual makeup and then take off the dirt the sweat and the grimy stuff the bacteria that's going throughout the the air going on your face at night you know you you sleep with your mouth open you know you you do a lot in your sleep that you're not aware of so you take all that off of your face and that's good for the morning and i really do like that this is a good toner right here this is from instafair instafree this is intense hydrating toner with green tea seed um yeah mm, it's a watery toner packed with amino acids from a balanced blend of a Jew, Jew green tea extract to deliver intense hydration to the skin and it does that so perfectly I really do like this it's a great toner this it's between this and also my green tea toner from of the body shop those two are a good toner this one hydrates the other one it's takes away all the gunk and the extra excess oil and everything else like a toner supposed to but that this does that plus hydrates so it's like during the summer months i use that one and during the winter months i would use this one those are my set toners i tried other toners those are the ones that i keep on coming back to so see more of that in the future the next thing is the melanin go at revitalizing eye gel i don't really like this it's okay it does the job it lifts it up but that's what it's supposed to do and that's what it does and it doesn't keep my eyes under eyes hydrated and everything else i only could use this only a morning eye gel you cannot do it at night you cannot use it at night if you want to use it at night use a cream underneath that's basically what i'm trying to say if you want moisturizer for under your eyes this is not it it just wants to pick it up and make it look like awake that's all it's gonna do and how much is you know it's worth i don't think it's really worth it i really like melon go ads as a brand but some of this stuff is just not worth the money and this is not worth the money if you want a up be like you want to you know you want your eyes to look healthy then yeah this is worth the money but if you want that plus moisturizing plus other stuff like this is not it this is not just one thing that you can get so it's just not worth it for me so that's all i gotta say and i just hit my glasses oh wow anyways that's it for this video that's it for my empties of may 2023 three, 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 three. i hope you guys like this video i just do these videos mostly to just go through all my empties and tell you what i liked what i disliked what do i think about the products is basically my final and initial review that's it for this video like i said before video right here video right here head right here go check it out and remember stay blessed stay beautiful and be you. This is everything will be linked down in the description. If you want to get in contact with me, some of the products will be linked in the description. Not all of them. Go check them out.